make decisions quickly so that I can sell things quickly. Because if you do it, if you do it, if you do it a certain way, you give yourself permission to ask other people to do the same thing. It's built in ethics. You understand why? That's how I make decisions, man. So what do I expect you guys to make decisions the same way? I spent 50 million bucks in freaking 90 minutes and you guys take freaking nine months to spend six grand. Make decisions quick. Make decisions as fast as you can. Stay certain. You can get new money. Everybody agree? See, when I do that in my own life, I can press you to do the same thing. I've given myself permission and in this universe, given myself permission to push people to do things faster. If you take a long time to do things, your buyer will then be allowed to take a long time to do things. You shop a second place, a third place, a fourth place, a fifth place, a sixth place, guess what? They will too. You gotta get a best deal because your daddy taught you to get a good deal, never be taken advantage of, shop two and three places, get your best discount, it's gotta be on sale. Then guess what? Every customer you have is gonna what? Give me a deal, man, give me a deal, man, give me a deal, man, okay? Your worst customers are the ones you give the best deal to. Never can make them happy. They want something. Oh, give me something extra. Give me something else. The mooch. Never satisfied. Right or wrong? Because you guys are mooches. Every business. I have five companies now. We'll do 100 million this year. I started every one of those companies with no money. Zero money, man. Just hustle and grit and courage. I've called on people I didn't want to be with. I've done things I didn't want to do, okay? It is not about doing what you love. It's about doing whatever it takes to make your dreams a reality, to be closed and stay closed. If you're not closed on your product, if you're not buying your own product, why would you expect anybody else to? Man, 400 bucks is a lot of money. Your prospect says to you, $400, do it. Listen to me, man. You're 32 years old. You've been trying to save money for 20 years and you had. Do it and do it now. I don't need anything special here. I'm not gonna be empathetic. Quit being stupid, write the check. Look, if you believe in what you're selling, how many of you believe in what you're selling? Then close the deal. Then close the deal, okay? Learn to close and you'll never be without work. You'll never be without money. You'll have an organization that is booming in athletes. You'll have a pipeline full. You'll have appointments filled up, right? I call it, a, a, a group called me yesterday. I'm actually trying to do a deal with CNBC and the guy says, I'm interested. I said, good, I'll be there tomorrow. Call me back. I'll be, I, I'm flying into New York tomorrow. What am I trying to do right now? By the way, I was supposed to be here. I'll fly into New York tomorrow. I can be there tomorrow, Mr. Ackerman. Okay, how does that work? I can't do tomorrow. I was gonna be here anyway, and I'm trying to close the deal. Let me close the deal. I'll figure out how to be in two places at one time later. Right? You, some of you in the room, they're like, hey, I can see you at four o'clock on Tuesday, right? And, and the customer says to you, I'll, I'll see you at four o'clock on Tuesday. Too. Let me look at my calendar. Like, like, you're so busy. Dude, that is so old. That is so old. And it's dishonest. It's dishonest. You want to see me Tuesday, at four o'clock? I give you Tuesday at four o'clock. Agree to it. Done. Done. I'll call you if something changes. If there's an earthquake between now and next Tuesday, Tuesday morning, there's a massive earthquake and I can't be there. You think everybody will understand? Commit first, figure the rest out later. Close the deal right now. Fill your calendar up. Your calendar's got the devil all over it. White space on a calendar and you will meet the devil. You don't need to die, okay? You go two or three days without anything going on, how many of you start having doubts? You're in hell. Oh my God, this isn't gonna work for me. There's nobody coming in. I'm not gonna hit my target. Okay, I know what I'll do. I'll lower my target. Dude, that's the devil doing that, man. That's a criminal. Never ever, if you're taking notes, never lower a target. Never lower a target. Never lower a target. Your mom and dad would tell you to lower a target. A manager might tell you to lower a target. Be reasonable. Be reasonable with yourself. Just bring it down a little bit. No, man. Criminal products are created like that. If you're going to give up on your own dream, how are you going to build an organization?